The Bible is an absolutely amazing book. And maybe unlike any other book in the history of the world, it's a book that many people have read daily. Uh, there are people across this planet, um, all sorts of, of backgrounds and ethnicities, languages, who spend time meditating upon and reading this book every day. And it's been like that uh, maybe even for thousands of years. As long as people have had access to it, people have been reading it and chewing on it regularly. And at Red Door Church, we want to do the same. Not only in our private lives, I encourage people, obviously, to read their own Bibles at home, which is a privilege that we have in the modern era, to be able to carry a Bible around. Most people have multiple Bibles in their homes. It's a tremendous privilege, but we hope that people will do that in private. But we want to also uh, have um, public readings as regularly and uh, as often as possible. And we're going to try and roll out a daily Bible reading program uh, where we will have um, several readings take place every day in the sanctuary of the church uh, starting at 1230. Uh, it won't be uh, beginning for another couple of weeks, but we're going to go through um, the Discipleship Journal Bible reading program, which can be found online. Just go to Google type in Discipleship Journal Bible Reading Program, program and it'll pop up. You'll have a PDF there that you can download. Uh, we're going to be distributing these to people who want to read along with us uh, at the church. Uh, we'll hope, uh, we hope that community members, people that are local, maybe if you're in town, you work in South Royalton or nearby and are able to skip away for a few minutes, you'll come and hear the Word of God read. Um, we hope it'll be a real blessing to our community, but we, uh, our real desire is to, to lift up the truth, um, to honor God by just letting His Word speak. We, have, we won't be explaining it. We won't be offering anything in addition to it. Um, we're just going to read it. And if people want to remain afterwards and pray, they're free to do that. But we want to say with the psalmist in Psalm 119, um, How sweet are your words to my taste. Yes, sweeter than honey to my mouth. From your precepts I gain understanding. Therefore, I hate every false way. We hope that, that in our Bible reading times each day, we will not only come to experience that more for ourselves as a church, but also that folks in our community, maybe people who don't have a lot of experience with the church, will come to see that the Bible is rich and deep, and that is sweeter even than the honeycomb, as the psalmist says. So take care, and... Uh, Look forward to reading the Bible with you this year. God bless.